Donna family is still recovering after their car slammed into a horse this week. The family was on Expressway 83 when a horse trotted in front of them, causing their car to just flip over. Yeah, tonight, the family now sharing how this crash has left a lingering impact. Channel 5 Steve Solis is in our studio with those details. Steve? Well, this car here belonged to the Moreno family. They had to be cut out of it moments after the crash. Their injuries were serious, but the overall impact of the incident is something that will be difficult for them to recover from. Jason Salinas says his family cannot catch a break. Back in September last year, there was an incident where my father-in-law, he suffered a brain injury. Doctors told the family to prepare for the worst. We were told, you know, he's got a 50 percent chance he's either going to pull through or he's, you know, going to have to start preparing to say goodbye. His father-in-law, Saul Moreno, pulled through. Salina says his injury and recovery was costly. Bills were piling up. Him being retired had a very restricted income. My mother-in-law, who had just recently retired in 2012, after 30 plus years working for the school district here in Donna, she right away took to substituting and tutoring to help supplement, to assist with some of the the costs. Monday night, the family faced another obstacle. My in-laws were at home with us at our house, um, spending the evening with the grandkids, you know, trick-or-treating and giving out candy. They had just left the house, and within an hour, we got the news. Saul and Cristela Moreno were passengers in a car headed west on Expressway 83 near Westgate. Their son was behind the wheel. We were told there was a horse on the expressway that they hit and their vehicle ended up rolling over um, and that they were rushed to the hospital. His father-in-law, who was still recovering from his brain injury, fractured several vertebrae in his neck. His mother-in-law also suffered severe injuries. Fractured sternum, as well as uh, some issues with her heart hitting the chest wall. Um, so it's gonna be kind of a long road of recovery for both of them. Their insurance will cover the damage to the car. Their medical bills are another story. Nobody's come forward as far as who the owner of the horses are or the owner himself coming forward claiming the horses. Westlaco police are still trying to figure out who the horses belong to. Until that's determined, the family has to pay their medical bills out of their own pocket. It's hard because something like this, nobody ever expects it. Nobody expects it to happen to them. Salinas hopes someone who knows where the horses came from will step forward. If it was your parents, um, your family members, you'd want not so much justice, but just somebody to do the right thing. Salinas says someone coming forward would help the family find peace and closure. Salinas tells me his mother-in-law was released from the hospital this morning. He says they avoided the expressway on the way home because she is still filled with fear after Monday's crash. Now, Westlake police tell me they could still use your help in locating the horse's owner. If you have any helpful information, you can call Westlake Crime Stoppers at 968-8477. Live in studio, Steve Solis, Channel 5 News at 6. Yeah, while hitting an animal on the freeway doesn't happen all that often, we wanted to know what kind of protection uh, would help cover costs. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. Your auto insurance policy allows you to drive legally, but it might not protect you as much as you think it will. Well, insurance agent Juan Rodriguez says now might be a good time to take a look at your policy. If you have full coverage on your vehicle, including comprehensive and collision, that's what's going to fix your vehicle. If you've got just liability, you know, just to drive legal on the road, then it's pretty much out of pocket unless you can find out who the animal belongs to. Rodriguez says while auto liability policies can get you on the road, they may also make you financially vulnerable. He says while comprehensive policies might cost more monthly, they could reduce your out-of-pocket costs.